Hello friends and welcome back to my channel that is Programming Nation. So, in last session of Quick Basic, we have learned the use of comma and the print command. So, and with the help of them, we have made a table like output. So, in this session, I will make you learn the use of input command and we'll make a calculator with the help of input command and the print command. So, I will make you learn first the use of input command. So, first CLS that is clear screen, then input. This will be printed that enter any number this will be printed in the output and this is the variable the number which will be uh, typing like 4 or file or any other number it will be given as the variable name n so print so in print your sorry your number is that will be your number is number n so the number n is the variable so whatever we will be typing over here it will be on typing enter then afterwards your number is n will be printed means if you are typing like here in this command when we will write the number n that will I am writing phi then the number will be whatever number wa was it will be printed over here in this number n so I am running this program so I am typing any number that is number 9 so your number is 9 so once more number 18 your number is 18 so once more a bigger number enter your number is this so now you are no now you know the use of the input command so we'll make a small program with the use of input command okay the will start enter mm, first number so we will give the name of the first number as uh, mm, a number a so once more input command and enter second number second number so we will give the variable name uh, here will be b so now we'll be using print command so over here mm, we'll be writing a plus b that will be equals to uh, outside the uh, outside the double quotation we will write a plus b that means whatever number was uh, written over here a uh, we will take it like uh, uh, a will be 4 and b will be 7 so b a plus b will be 11 so it will be printed over here but if the same i am writing over here then in the double quotation it will not be not it will be not because the program is thinking that uh, in double quotation we have written that it should be printed but outside double quotation we need to solve it like that so next we are writing print in double quotation a minus b minus b equals to so this will be like a minus b so whatever was the a and b so it will be like solving here over here also like number a is suppose 7 and number b is suppose a, uh, 4 so it will be written as the number is uh, a minus b equals to, to 3 so next so print in double quotation we will write a multiplied by b uh, equals to then a over here outside the double quotation we will write a uh, a multiplied by b equals to outside the output whatever was the number will be multiplied and will be written over here so uh, we will write uh, last one that is division one so a divided by b equals to a divided by b that will be the output so we are running this program so first I am typing the first number that is 12 then the second number will be 9 so whatever a plus b is equals to uh, 21 that is 12 plus 9 equals to 21 12 minus 9 equals to 30, uh, 3 12 into 9 equals to 108 and 12 divided by 9 equals to 1.33333 Okay, so thanks for watching my video and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and 
If you like the video, please thumbs up. Thank you and goodbye.